Okay. So, uh, we also have a parameter called credit clearing capability in the program. We call it CCC in the program. Uh, most times you will again get emails or messages or on your dashboard, you will see something which is CCC. So, basically CCC gives you an idea of how many courses you are able to handle and you can possibly register for in a term to do well in that term. It is not probably indicative of just your ability, but it also is indicative of the time that you are able to put into the courses. So, if you are busy and maybe you have just been doing the minimum required in any course to pass and maybe you are getting a D grade, D grade in two courses you took, we would really suggest that you should not be taking three and four courses because your grades are already less in those two courses and maybe you should just continue with one or two courses going forward. So, typically what we do is we calculate the average of uh, course marks from the previous term or even the previous two terms and we do this kind of a recommendation table where if the average of courses that you've completed is less than 50, which is that uh, D grade or an E grade that you got, then maybe you should do only one or two courses in every term because we are seeing that either you don't put in the effort or the time or maybe you are not able to cope with the courses. If you have this S score between 50 and 70, maybe 3 is a good recommendation for you and above 70 we say maybe you can deal with 4 courses in the program. So, that is something that we recommend, it is called the credit clearing capability and this is something that you should think for yourself, you should also look at how you have been doing the courses, how much time you are able to spend and then decide to register for courses so that you do them really well, get good grades and get a good CGPA. So, that is something very important you have to keep in mind when you are thinking about and deciding how many courses to register in a particular term.